back to another vlog. Apologies on this one not being a weekly vlog, but I have been so unwell this week. I've had a bit of a cold, a really gross cough. But anyway, today I I've been looking I've been looking forward to all week the idea of going on a lengthy walk at the beach. I really wanted to go do it um, on my own. I don't really want to. I wanted to go, I purposefully want to go on my own. I don't want to take anyone with me. I just want to go alone with the dogs and just have a lovely time. Just a solo adventure. I, I have mentioned this previously in um, videos. This year I really want to do a load of solo adventuring because actually, I really bloody enjoy it. So I'm gonna be going out to, driving out to Wells this morning, which on the North Norfolk coast. And then I'm gonna get the bus back to Burnham over his staff and then walking back. Um, so I'm just getting ready. I'm just gonna be put, I'm just putting on a little bit of tinted SPF, just moisturise. Then I've got some Merit concealer, which is great. It's um, coming up to my time of the month. I'm in the phase of it, so I'm, I always get spots around my chin or my mouth. Just so annoying. Um, just putting a little bit of makeup on. I don't normally hair come on a walk, but I might meet the man of my dreams on the North Norfolk coast, so who then asks me to move into his gorgeous multi million pound barn conversion? I'm like, yeah, sure. So, just want to look a little bit more left alive. Look, uh, this is so unnecessary. I don't want to wear my hat. If I was tying my hair up, I wouldn't even be bothering with this. Lovely. Okay, and um, we are ready to go. Apple Watch. Though the strap is a bit big for me now, my, my wrist seem to sh shrunk. Bagels on the go. My shoes of choice are my hiking Converse I got ages ago. Like, I wouldn't climb a mountain in these. Oh, I might do actually. No, probably not, but for like long flat, for, for flat walks. For longish, flattish walks, these are perfect. And they're Gore-Tex as well, so the, the water doesn't get in them. Should put you in the car. Cause you are, you know we're get, we know you know we're doing something. So I better put you in the car before you drive me mad. Get in the car. Come on, wait, wait, wait. Oh. I've got the Rab on. I've not worn this in ages, but I didn't want to wear a really super massive coat because I don't think it's that cold out. But then it might be cold at the seaside. But then I'm going to be walking. But I'm going to be walking, so I will be get hot. And I've got a bagel full of road. Mm. Yesterday I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a guilt-free day on the sofa. Because it's all I've wanted to do all week is just sit and do nothing on the sofa. But every single day I've had, had something that I have to do, obviously, for work or life. Like, it's just adulthood. You can't escape your own responsibilities. And uh, although it hasn't been particularly strenuous, I've still had to kind of get up and get my shit together and do things. So I was like, Saturday we're going to do nothing and Sunday we're going to go on an epic walk. But when it comes round to my planned days of doing nothing, on the actual day, I then get restless, don't I? So now I'm just like, ah, oh, so annoying. So I was like, right, I've told myself that I want to sit and do nothing today. So that's what I have to do today. But my body and my brain is also like, but I want to go out and do something. I want to go see my friends. I want to go into town and go shopping or, or go for a coffee or go on a dog walk or X, Y, and Z. But it, it sounds so stupid, but because I told myself, no, you need a day to re relax. It was almost like there were two voices in my head, which was, you need to sit and relax because this is what you need for your body and your mind and your soul. And then the other half of me is like, no, I want to go out. So I'm just, the day was was nice and it was relaxing, but I didn't enjoy it as much as I was hoping because I was just having this internal battle with myself. And also I just had a bit of FOMO because I just, I actually just wanted to see some people. Anyway, today, on the day where I'm actually out doing stuff, my planned day out, is when everyone's free and wants to see me. We are in Wells. I just need to find the parking. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I know where I am. The cool little bridge thing here. Okay, so I will use this one because I already am registered with them. Let's go here, next is Beetle. Lovely, right. You all right, Dee? You cool? 
cool, mate. I'm not leaving you. I'm not leaving you. No, we're not. We're, I'm not going. No, I'm not going without you. Promise. Promise. We're all going together. Right. RCP. No, nah, yeah, no. I just made it for the parking. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Hello. Let's get to back. No. No. Right. Duration. Day. One day. We'll just go for the day. Continue. It's six pounds. Lovely. Time to go. Time to find this bus. And also, yeah, we're going together. <laughs> oh, dog. It's been a real strike of luck because I've actually parked right next to a bus stop that goes to where I'm going. Every other time I've done something like this or done this walk, I've gone to a bus stop like further in town where I've walked in and gone down but I didn't realise that there's a bus stop right here. I've just looked it over and I am in the right place because, oh, there's my car. Because I'm here and I'm getting the bus to like there or there. No, where am I getting? Burnham Overy Stafe, yeah. And walking back that way. Part of me is like, do I go to Burnham Deepdale? Perhaps I do. <laughs> Burnham Deepdale, go a little bit further. I kind of want to do that, you know. So the outfit of choice today, my walking outfit, is I've got these Berg or Hall leggings. I don't actually wear these on for the gym. These are for if I go for a walk in. I don't know why I feel like this bit. They've got like they've got like reinforced knees and stuff. They've also got zip up pockets, which is nice. I'm just wearing a little ribbed vest, funky jumper. And then I've got my donut backpack, which has got all the things in that I need. Rab coat, Garni hat on, which is a fave. Gucci sunglasses, because I'm extra. That's the outfit. Really? Ta -da! I'll show you what's inside the backpack. In here is just my little bag of trinkets. Like it's just, you know, all the tablets if I get ahead. It's actually mostly full of lipstick. It's my little safety bag. I, break, I take it everywhere with me. I've got this thing which is for the dogs, it's their water, it's, it's great. You press this button here and the water comes out, like that, so they can have a drink. But it's great, because you press the button again, the water goes, okay, gently tip it. <laughs> I've got my water. I didn't go hot on snacks, because normally I take like a whole pack of cakes or something, but I'm not eating that kind of stuff at the moment. So I've just got this fuel oat bar for me, for a little halfway snack. And then my purse, um, dog poo bags are in here and then just my camera stuff for taking photos. Did forget to bring some toilet roll though, some tissues for if I need a nature wee. It's gonna have to be a shake and bake job. Here comes the bus. Lovely. So I bought the bus ticket, but what I find quite funny is you have to also pay for the dogs. And it's got a Rover ticket. <laughs> How much was that? One pound. You cost me one pound. I've actually gone a bit further down the coastline. Um, I've got off at a place called Burnham Deepdale. My original plan was to get off at a place called Burnham Overy Stafe. They just love the word Burnham. I did the Burnham Overy Stafe walk with my friends. Was it last year or the year before? And I mean, it took us like three or four hours, but we were fanny assing around. Like we had a few breaks. We went on a rope swing. We did a bunch of different things and I know we're, we're just being my, me on my own, I get a pace on. I kind of want to make them, I kind of want to make the most out of my day and like have a nice long, long walk. So I thought, you know what, I'll just add some time on and go a bit further. I just find it so fucking random that there's a fat face in the middle of the countryside, like in the middle of nowhere. Smallest village. I've got a fat face, that's when you can tell somewhere is truly middle class. I see the coastal path sign. And so the adventure begins. Starting point, Burnham Deepdale. Wow, a boat. Look at them. Let me get... We're free, we're free. Dobby is a free elf. I don't have it, we're not doing this dance, girl. She'll do this, oh, if she does this the whole time, I'm gonna be mad. Basically, she does this thing where 
she'll run forward and turn around and look at me to be like throw the ball mum and she'll do that forever like now now are you gonna throw it and I'm like no because I don't have it we're not, we're not playing ball today well she might not today no she's deaf she's doing it she's turning around to look anyway I'm so glad I didn't bring my headphones because the birds are making some beautiful chirps nope don't have it and I won't have it for a very long time not until we get home oh it's beautiful So <clears throat> what's happened is I walked all along the top there across the marshes and I'm sort of, sort of doing a hair, hairpin turn, it's done a turn, I'm sort of going back on myself and then I'll be going back round again. I think this is just the, I think this is the best way to make the footpath to navigate through the marshes um, and I do remember I do, oh, I remember I've got to go across that farm. Yeah, that's the bit that I was thinking, where's the farm bit? Because I can see some walkers walking for a farm field over there. And I remember there being a farm bit and being confused before by it. There's a lot of people, not a lot, but there are a fair few people about today. I know that I'm having a pint up this walk because it would be rude not to at the end of every walk have the post hike pint and it is like the best pint ever <laughs> the only time where I've not had a pint whoa immediately after a hike or like oh hey, that's a lie don't worry I did nope <laughs> ignore me I was gonna say when I climbed Snowdon a bit um I'd run out of water halfway up and I didn't know it was gonna be that hot of a day like the weather forecast lied I didn't take enough water so I was absolutely I've never been so thirsty in my life that I was dying. <laughs> and so when we got back to the campsite where we started, I just put my face underneath the tap. Layla! Drinking water tap, that was the best. But then we had a pint straight after that from the campsite bar. Ooh, there's a little deer down there. Oh, hello. I think it's a deer. It might be a variation of deer, but it, that's my knowledge of wildlife. We're the other side of the, the farmer's field. Well, the field. The field. Um, but we're back on the main road, so they're on the leads. We just met a nice sausage dog and a spaniel. Diane barked at them. As per, but the other sausage dog, uh, the other sausage dog owner did say it is their job to bark at everything, and I did say yes, it is. But we're actually now where I intended on starting the walk originally, but with the little bit extra I've done, it is I've added 6.63 kilometers and an extra 87 minutes. So here's the sign back to the seafront. Um, back to Wells and where my car is is seven miles so I've got that to do now so we can head on back down to the the nice part of the coast path and off the main road come on my girls don't often get asked this but people sometimes are quite surprised when I tell them on the walks that we do or have done and they're like oh, aren't they too small to do stuff like that and look at them they're just they they love it they are they always manage they always, they've always got so much energy to be on these walks. The only time that I've ever had to carry Diane is when we were climbing up Mount Snowdon and she physically could not make it up the, um, the rocks. She's too small. I'm going to go and sit on this bench because this is the bench that I've sat at so many times to have a break. I'm just going to have some water. Do you want some water? I started where I started because there was like no one about really 
and I got that moment of, you know, solitude or loneliness, not loneliness, solitude, is that the word? Just, just, you know, being in all right. Anyway, from Burnham Overy State, which was here, where I was originally going to start, there's so many fucking people, so many people walking up this bit. It's like a whole line of us. Change of scenery now. We're at the marshes, not the marshes, the dunes. Why have you gone that way? Now you can't, oh yeah, you can get up. Come on, gonna go this way. They're excited, they've got a new burst of energy because we're at the beach now and they can sense it. They love the beach. They're so full of joy. Look at you, running around like fools. Come here, Lola. Diane, come here. Here. Come here. Well, I've come down here to take some pictures, but how am I going to get up here? This is like, you just, you bossed it both times. Can I do this? This is going to be a stupid idea. Oh, God. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it up. Oh, fuck. That's because they've got little feet. Oh, my God. <laughs> No, I can't do it, girls. Fuck me. I got up there somehow. Why or never. Definitely was not the right way to go. <laughs> These are taking me on a walk. They are so full of energy. <sighs> They're fucking nuts. Go on, you two. <sighs> Over the hills and far away. Let's try and get back on track. Everyone's there. I remember always coming to here and then being on the beach. Hmm. Not down there, I'm not. No way. Okay, let's try and find another way. I found a cut through down here, and we're just gonna go down and over. Whee! Here we go. We made it to the beach. We did it! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, oh! Whee! <laughs> Come on, this way. There's only one way to go, and it's that way. The reason why I love this walk so much is because we're now about to enter some woods here, so I think the entrance is just over there. There! It's not Jeremy Clarkson. Um, so yeah, I've gone from like marshy walks on a risen footpath to dunes, to beach, to woods. And, and that's why I really like this walk because there's so much to see. I'm having the best time, having the best day. I'm so glad I didn't bring my headphones. Like, my mind, Although my bright my mind never sh my mind never shuts up because of my my brain the brain that I own my ADHD brain it just feels a little bit clearer though and it does quieten the longer the walk you know what I mean here we go into the woods oh God you you got it I don't want to go on the main path that goes around the woods I want to go through them and there'll be less people. Still got a while to go actually, I just looked at the map. Um, but I'm fine, it's fine with me. I'm having a great time. I never want it to end. Actually no, I, if some force from above heard that and then made that a reality, I think that would be awful. <laughs> Definitely have, do deserve that point though. Just looking at the Apple Watch. Yeah, so it's funny because although my brain never really like, I've never been one to be able to meditate. I've tried it numerous times. Like your kind of classic, classic meditation, as it were, you know, sit down, close your eyes, empty your brain, all that. I can't do it. Even though walking, when I'm walking, I still think about, you know, the things that are going on in my life. I think about work a lot. My life, yeah, my life at the moment, what's going on. I, it feels like it's got the space to move around in my head. If that, I don't know how to explain it. Like when I'm at home and if I'm feeling anxious or... I'm overthinking or I'm spiralling. It feels like the thoughts are pinging around like a, you know, like one of them pinball machines where it's just going ding, 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 ding. When I'm out 
walking and it feels like the forts are able to just fly in and out like there's so much space for them to move god yeah yeah i think that's a really good way of putting it but then i'm also able to be really present like look at things around me and admire like nature and listen to my footsteps and how they sound different on different surfaces like crunching on leaves and stuff that's washed up on the beach hearing the dog's feet pitter patter around and hearing them galloping and hearing the muffled voices of other people hearing the birds all the different birds that are around and then just seeing how the like the light reflects off things differently the shadows casting and, and everything it's just there's so much to take in which gives my my give it which gives my brain like the space as it were to focus on other stuff do you want to go that way or now we'll continue this way we're gonna go this way word of advice for walking through the woods <laughs> watch where your feet are as i've tripped over god knows how many tree roots now or stumps because i'm not watching where my feet are Oh god, it's just so fucking beautiful in here. I just can't, can't get over it. Ah, wow. Oh wow. I would say we are probably now entering what you would class as Wells. Like, not Wells Town Centre, obviously, because we're still in the woods. But we're basically within the remit of it. Because there's a toilet there, which I recognise, and the rope swing back there. If I was with people, I would definitely have gone on. Not because I feel like a fool doing it on my, on my own. I really did consider it, but it was more like... I have no one to help me get up or push me. <laughs> uh, if it was a bit lower, I'd have been on that. No questions asked, because I, I never have any shame in doing any sort of activity on my own anymore. Weird that we feel like we have to have someone with us as like a safety net or a blanket in order to do stuff, which is really weird, because you're still doing, like if I was on the rope swing on my own and with someone else standing there, like apparently that's more acceptable. It's only me on the rope swing anyway. But apparently that's more acceptable than having, than just doing that on your own with no one else standing there. Like, I don't even know if it's even more acceptable. I think we tell ourselves, oh, I look like a right twat if I go on this rope swing on my own. Whereas if I saw someone on a rope swing, I'd just be like, cool, they're on a rope swing, having a great time. I'm having a fucking great day, a brilliant day. I'm so happy right now. I made it. I'm at Wells and this is the big car park where if you wanted to just come to the beach you'd come up here and park here but I've now got to do the last leg of the walk which is the really long straight road which walks back into town and at the end of that road is a pub this is it just a long old bit of path and it leads right into the town it's not the most exciting part but it's still it's still pretty Do not poo! Do not poo! And just like that, I'm back in town. Got the boats there. And I'm just gonna walk off the end of the walkway and then I'll be in the town. If the deli's still open, I might nip in there and get a little snack for the way home. I didn't, I didn't have my oat bar. I guess I could have that, but I kind of feel like I want a sandwich after all of that. <laughs> Hello, sandwich. Or like a sausage roll or a samosa. I do love Wells Deli, it's lovely. Wells Deli. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, good girls. Oh. Here we go. We've got some treatos for the way home. But I have priorities right now. Just going to the pub. The Golden Fleece been here a few times. I made friends in the cafe with a man of a basset hound. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> I just like that. They're so tired. Why are you tired? Back at the car. Right, well, I've got myself some snackaroos from Wells Deli. Ooh, mango chutney here. Yeah. Nearly home. Lovely job. 
Then the other way to end a day like this is by having a nice hot bath. So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me on my hike today. I've had an absolutely amazing day. I've really, really enjoyed it. Um, I am going to be doing a string of these solo adventure videos from now on. Uh, it's something that I really love and want to share it, you know, doing solo trips, solo hikes, solo days out. I think there's something quite, I don't want to go as far as I say like liberating, but there is something quite special about just doing things for yourself by yourself. We forget that we, we can do anything we want. We don't have to wait for people. We don't have to do everything with someone. We can just, we've got the power to just go do it ourselves if we want. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy and I shall see you soon.